It was on a quiet evening, under a sky smeared with the hues of twilight, that the seed of existential questioning was planted in my mind. Surrounded by the ceaseless rhythm of life, with the world moving in its unending dance of creation and decay, a thought whispered to me, subtle yet profound. What is the meaning of all this? This question, simple in its structure, plunged me into the depths of contemplation, marking the beginning of my journey into the realm of existential nihilism. As I ventured further, I encountered the works of philosophers who had navigated this void before me. Nietzsche, Camus, Sartre each offered a torch to illuminate the path, yet the darkness seemed only to grow more profound with their insights. Nietzsche declared, God is dead, not in jubilation, but as a somber acknowledgement of the weighty task, now resting on humanity's shoulders, the task of forging meaning in an inherently meaningless universe. Camus, with his concept of the absurd, introduced me to the relentless conflict between our quest for meaning and the silent indifference of the universe. It was a battle not to be won, but to be endured, a Sisyphean struggle where the act of defiance itself became a beacon of existential rebellion. Sartre, on the other hand, emphasized the freedom that this void offers, a liberation from preordained values and purposes, urging us to embrace our radical freedom to create our essence through our actions. Yet, this freedom, boundless and unfettered, also bore the weight of despair. The realization that there were no cosmic guidelines, no ultimate purpose to our existence, left me standing at the edge of the abyss, peering into the unfathomable depths of meaninglessness. The world, once vibrant and teeming with significance, now appeared as a stage devoid of script or direction, with each of us merely improvising our parts in a play without an audience. In my darkest moments, this perspective seemed to herald a descent into nihilistic despair, a resignation to the futility of existence. Yet, as I lingered in this existential limbo, a subtle transformation began to unfold within me. The void, once a source of dread, gradually became a canvas of infinite possibilities. The absence of inherent meaning did not condemn us to despair, but invited us to become the architects of our own meaning. This realization was both a burden and a gift. The burden lay in the relentless responsibility of choice, the ceaseless necessity to carve out a personal niche of significance in a vast, indifferent cosmos. The gift, however, was the unparalleled freedom to define my existence on my own terms, to infuse my actions with a meaning that, while subjective and transient, was no less real. I began to see life as a tapestry of moments, each imbued with the meaning I chose to ascribe to it. Relationships, passions, struggles, and joys these became the landmarks by which I navigated the existential void. The pursuit of meaning, I realized, was not about uncovering some grand universal truth, but about weaving a narrative that resonated with my deepest values and aspirations. This perspective also fostered a profound sense of solidarity with my fellow travelers in the void. Recognizing the shared absurdity of our condition, I found beauty in the myriad ways people crafted their islands of meaning in the vast ocean of meaninglessness. The diversity of these personal narratives, rather than rendering them insignificant, highlighted the creative resilience of the human spirit. Existential nihilism, then, offered not a descent into despair, but an invitation to a dance a dance atop the abyss, where each step, each movement, was an assertion of our capacity to find or create meaning in the face of absurdity. This dance, precarious and exhilarating, required a delicate balance between acknowledging the void and refusing to be consumed by it. As I continue to navigate this existential landscape, I am constantly reminded of the dual nature of our human condition. The despair that arises from confronting the void, and the liberation that comes from embracing it. The journey through existential nihilism is not a linear path, but a spiral where moments of clarity are intertwined with periods of doubt and turmoil. Yet, it is within this spiral that life unfolds in its richest hues, where the act of meaning making becomes a testament to our enduring quest for significance amidst the silence of the cosmos. The void, once a symbol of existential dread, now serves as a reminder of our freedom, our resilience, and our unyielding desire to carve out a space for meaning in the tapestry of existence. In the end, the exploration of existential nihilism reveals not a bleak landscape of despair, 
but a realm brimming with potential for personal growth, creativity, and connection. It teaches us that while the universe may be indifferent to our plight, we have the power to infuse our lives with purpose, to create oases of meaning in the desert of the absurd. This realization does not dispel the shadows cast by the void, but illuminates our path with the light of our own making, guiding us through the labyrinth of existence with a knowledge that, though the journey may be fraught with uncertainty, it is ours to define. And so, as the twilight deepens into night, I find solace in the stars that pierce the darkness, each a beacon of light in the vast expanse of the cosmos. They remind me that in the heart of the void lies the potential for beauty, meaning and connection, waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to embark on the journey. With each step forward, I embrace the void not as an adversary, but as a companion on this odyssey of existence, a reminder of the infinite possibilities that lie within the depths of the meaninglessness. In this odyssey through the landscapes of existential nihilism, the realization that life's inherent meaninglessness can be both a source of despair and a gateway to liberation serves as a guiding star. This journey, personal and universal in its scope, reveals the intricate dance between the darkness of the void and the light of human creativity and resilience. The initial confrontation with the void can be likened to a night of the soul, where all that once seemed solid and reliable dissolves into air, leaving behind a sense of profound disorientation and solitude. This stage, marked by questions that echo without answer in the vastness of an indifferent universe, is a crucible in which one's previous convictions and beliefs are melted down, examined, and often discarded. It's a period of deconstruction, where the narratives and values inherited from society, culture, and religion are stripped away, revealing the bare essence of existence as a blank canvas. This canvas, though, does not remain blank for long. It beckons with the promise of creation, urging us to pick up the brush and paint our own vistas of meaning and purpose. This is where existential nihilism morphs from a philosophy of despair into one of liberation. The very absence of predetermined meaning opens up a space for personal and collective creativity that is boundless in its potential. In this phase of the journey, I found myself drawing inspiration from the stories of those who had navigated similar paths. Artists, writers, philosophers, and everyday individuals who, in the face of life's absurdity, chose to create, to love, to strive, and to imbue their existence with a self-defined purpose. These narratives, diverse in their content, but unified in their defiance against the void, served as beacons of possibility, illustrating that the search for meaning is not a futile endeavor, but a deeply human one. This realization brings with it a profound sense of freedom albeit a freedom that is accompanied by the weight of responsibility. The liberty to define our own meaning and purpose also places upon us the duty to make choices that are authentic and aligned with our deepest values and convictions. It is a freedom that demands awareness, courage, and an unwavering commitment to navigate the tumultuous seas of existence without the comfort of external certainties. As the journey progresses, the interplay between despair and liberation becomes more nuanced. Despair, in this context, is not an enemy to be vanquished, but a companion that reminds us of the stakes involved in our existential quest. It sharpens our appreciation for the moments of joy, connection, and meaning that we are able to carve out in the face of the void. Liberation, on the other hand, is not a static state to be achieved, but a dynamic process of becoming, an ongoing endeavor to craft a life that is reflective of our individual essence and aspirations. The dance with the void, then, is not about finding a final resolution or a safe harbor from the storm, but about learning to sail in open waters, navigating by the stars of our own making. It is a dance that is both deeply personal and inherently collective, as each of us contributes to the tapestry of human endeavor and meaning-making. In this exploration of existential nihilism, I have come to understand that the void is not a realm of darkness to be feared but a space of infinite potential to be embraced. It challenges us to confront the most fundamental questions of our existence and invites us to respond with the full measure of our creativity, courage, and compassion. The journey through the void, with all its trials and tribulations, ultimately leads us to a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the cosmos. It teaches us 
that while we may be small in the grand scheme of things, the meanings we create and the lives we lead are significant in their own right. As I continue to navigate the existential landscape, I am constantly reminded that the journey is not about arriving at a final destination, but about the experiences, reflections and connections forged along the way. The void, once a source of existential dread, has become a canvas of possibility, a space where the dance of creation and destruction unfolds in endless variation. In embracing the void, we affirm our capacity to create meaning in an indifferent universe, to find beauty in the absurdity of existence, and to connect with others in our shared quest for understanding and purpose. The exploration of existential nihilism, then, is not a descent into nihilistic despair, but an invitation to engage with life in its fullest depth and complexity. It is a journey that challenges us to confront the void and in doing so, to discover the boundless potential for meaning, purpose and connection that lies within us and around us. As we dance atop the abyss, we celebrate the resilience of the human spirit and the infinite creativity that defines our existence, forging a path through the void that is uniquely our own. In the heart of the journey through existential nihilism, a profound transformation begins to take root. This transformation, born from the fires of questioning and the void of meaninglessness, gradually reveals a landscape where despair and liberation intertwine, offering a nuanced understanding of existence that transcends the initial shock of nihilism. It's a landscape marked by a paradoxical sense of peace and turmoil, where the acknowledgement of life's inherent absurdity coexists with the relentless pursuit of personal meaning and authenticity. This phase of the journey is characterized by a deeper acceptance of the existential premises that underpin nihilism. The universe's indifference to human concerns, rather than being a source of despair, becomes a backdrop against which the human drama unfolds in all its richness and complexity. This acceptance does not imply resignation, but rather an empowered stance towards life where the absence of preordained meaning opens up a space for individual and collective creativity to flourish. In navigating this landscape, I began to appreciate the subtle ways in which existential nihilism invites us to engage with life more fully. By stripping away the illusions of inherent meaning and purpose, it challenges us to confront the raw reality of our existence, prompting us to ask what truly matters to us and why. This questioning leads to a more intentional way of living, where each choice, each action, becomes a deliberate act of meaning-making. The realization that we are the authors of our own lives, responsible for crafting our narratives within the vastness of an indifferent universe, imbues our existence with a sense of urgency and significance. The projects we undertake, the relationships we nurture, the values we uphold, each of these becomes an expression of our defiance against the void a testament to our capacity to find or create meaning in the face of absurdity. This stage of the journey also brings with it a profound sense of solidarity and compassion. Recognizing that we are all fellow travelers in the existential void fosters a deeper connection to others, grounded in the shared experience of navigating the uncertainties of life. This solidarity extends beyond the human sphere encompassing a broader sense of kinship with all beings and the cosmos itself, as we recognize the interconnectedness of our existence. Moreover, the exploration of existential nihilism reveals the beauty and resilience inherent in the human condition. The arts, literature, science and everyday acts of kindness and courage emerge as manifestations of our innate desire to make sense of our existence, to leave a mark on the universe that, while ultimately transient, holds meaning in the moment. As the journey unfolds, the dance with the void evolves into a more harmonious movement, where moments of despair and feelings of liberation ebb and flow like the tides. This dance is not about finding a permanent foothold of meaning in the shifting sands of existence, but about learning to move gracefully with the uncertainty, embracing the freedom and responsibility that come with creating our own path. In this evolved understanding, Existential nihilism offers a powerful lens through which to view our lives, one that emphasizes the transient, precious nature of existence and the importance of living authentically and passionately. It encourages us to seize the day, not in a hedonistic or reckless manner, but with a deep awareness of the significance of each moment, each connection, 
each choice in shaping our journey through the void. As I reflect on the path traversed so far, I recognize that the exploration of existential nihilism is not a journey with a final destination, but an ongoing process of discovery, creation, and recreation. It's a process that invites us to continually question, to seek out new understandings, and to embrace the complexity and ambiguity of existence with open hearts and minds. In embracing existential nihilism, we find not a nihilistic end game, but a dynamic, vibrant way of engaging with the world, one that acknowledges the absurdity of existence while affirming our capacity for meaning-making. This engagement is not a denial of the void, but a celebration of the potential it holds for growth, creativity, and transformation. Thus, the journey through the void, guided by the principles of existential nihilism, becomes a profound adventure in self-discovery and existential creativity. It challenges us to live with intentionality and authenticity, to forge connections that transcend the superficial, and to craft a life that reflects our deepest values and aspirations. In the vast expanse of the meaningless universe, we find the freedom to define our own meaning, to dance atop the abyss with resilience and grace, and to embrace the beautiful, fleeting, and utterly unique experience of being alive. As the journey through the existential void unfolds, it reveals layers of understanding about the human condition that are both profound and paradoxical. This exploration, a voyage across the churning seas of existential nihilism, becomes a pilgrimage towards self-discovery and collective understanding, where each wave and each trough has its own story to tell. In this narrative of existence, the moments of profound despair coexist with peaks of exhilarating liberation. The despair emerges from the realization that in the grand, indifferent cosmos, our lives are but brief sparks in the vast expanse of time. This can lead to a sense of insignificance, a questioning of the value of our actions, and a doubt about the impact of our existence. Yet, it is precisely this confrontation with the void that paves the way for liberation, a liberation born from the understanding that if life has no predetermined meaning, then we are free to define our own. This freedom, however, is not without its challenges. It demands of us a relentless introspection and a courageous commitment to forge our path, even in the absence of external validations. The act of creating meaning in a seemingly meaningless universe requires a leap of faith, a faith not in any higher power, but in ourselves and our capacity to imbue our lives with purpose and significance through our choices, actions, and relationships. At the heart of this existential journey, is the concept of authenticity, a principle that calls us to live in accordance with our true selves, to make choices that resonate with our deepest values, and to engage with the world in a way that reflects our unique perspective and essence. This authenticity is what allows us to navigate the existential void with integrity, crafting a life that, while acknowledging the absurdity of existence, affirms our commitment to living fully and meaningfully within it. The quest for authenticity leads to a profound realization, our interconnectedness with others. Recognizing the existential predicament not as an isolated struggle, but as a shared human experience fosters a sense of solidarity and compassion. It becomes evident that our efforts to create meaning are not solitary endeavors, but part of a larger tapestry of human striving and creativity. This recognition of our shared vulnerability and aspirations can be a source of comfort and inspiration, reminding us that, in our quest for meaning, we are not alone. As this exploration progresses, the dichotomy between despair and liberation begins to blur, revealing that these experiences are not opposing but complementary facets of the existential journey. Despair propels us towards a deeper inquiry into the nature of existence, prompting us to question, to seek, and to reflect. Liberation, on the other hand, offers a glimpse into the possibilities that arise when we take ownership of our existential predicament, embracing our freedom to create, to love, and to live authentically. This journey through existential nihilism, with its ebbs and flows, becomes a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. It underscores the idea that, although we may face the abyss, we do so with the capacity to light a flame in the darkness to find meaning in the struggle, and to connect with others in profound and meaningful ways. The void, rather than being a source of despair, 
becomes a space of potentiality where the act of meaning making becomes a dynamic and creative process, a dance of light and shadow. In this dance, each step, each movement, is an affirmation of our existence, a declaration that, despite the inherent meaninglessness of the universe, our lives can be replete with purpose, beauty, and significance. We learn to embrace the paradoxes of existence, finding strength in vulnerability, connection in isolation, and meaning in the face of absurdity. As the journey unfolds, it becomes clear that the exploration of existential nihilism is not a descent into darkness, but a voyage towards a deeper understanding of what it means to be human. It is a journey marked by moments of profound insight, deep connection, and the relentless pursuit of authenticity in a world devoid of inherent meaning. This journey, with all its challenges and rewards, invites us to look beyond the void, to see the potential for growth, creativity, and connection that lies within the depths of the existential abyss. The exploration of existential nihilism offers not a definitive answer, but a perspective a lens through which we can view our lives and our place in the universe. It is a journey that encourages us to embrace the uncertainty and absurdity of existence, to find joy in the act of creation, and to forge connections that transcend the boundaries of the self. Through this exploration, we come to understand that the void is not a place of despair, but a space of infinite possibility, where the dance of life continues, ever vibrant, ever meaningful, ever ours to define. Having traversed the landscapes of existential nihilism, where the specters of meaninglessness and the luminosity of self-defined purpose clash and coalesce. The journey does not conclude, but rather deepens, evolving into a perpetual quest for understanding and engagement with the essence of being. This odyssey, marked by introspection and the relentless pursuit of authenticity, illuminates the inherent paradox of human existence. Our simultaneous insignificance in the cosmos and our profound capacity for meaning-making. In this continued exploration, the realization dawns that the struggle against the void is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a lived experience, manifest in every choice, every relationship, and every moment of awareness. The confrontation with existential nihilism becomes then, not an endpoint, but a gateway to a more nuanced engagement with life. It challenges us to live with intentionality, to imbue our daily actions with a sense of purpose that is both self-created and deeply connected to the world around us. This engagement with life, fueled by the recognition of its inherent absurdity, encourages a stance of radical openness to experience. It invites us to find beauty in the transient, to cherish the fleeting moments of connection and joy that dot the landscape of existence. The awareness of life's ephemeral nature, rather than leading to despair, can heighten our appreciation for its richness and diversity, urging us to savor each moment as if it were both the first and the last. The journey through the existential void also fosters a profound empathy and compassion for others. Recognizing that each person is engaged in their own struggle for meaning, we are called to approach our relationships with a sense of solidarity and understanding. This empathy is not born of pity, but of a deep recognition of our shared human condition, a condition marked by vulnerability, desire, and the unending quest for significance. As we navigate this existential terrain, we also encounter the transformative power of creativity and imagination. The act of creation, whether in art, literature, science, or everyday life, becomes a defiant response to the void, a way of asserting our presence and shaping our reality. Through creativity, we not only construct personal meanings, but also contribute to the collective human endeavor, weaving our unique thread into the fabric of cultural and intellectual history. This process of continuous exploration and creation is underpinned by a sense of humility and wonder. The more we delve into the existential questions, the more we realize the vastness of what we do not know. This acknowledgement of our own limitations opens us to a sense of wonder, an ability to be moved by the mystery and beauty of existence. It is in this space of humility and wonder that we find the strength to keep questioning, to keep seeking, and to keep engaging with the profound complexity of life. Ultimately, the exploration of existential nihilism leads us to a place of reconciliation. A reconciliation not with the idea of a predetermined meaning, but with the power and responsibility we have to create our own. 
This journey teaches us that the search for meaning is not a quest for a distant, elusive treasure, but a process of engagement with the world, a way of being that is both deeply personal and inextricably connected to the broader tapestry of human experience. As we continue to navigate the existential void, we carry with us the lessons learned from this exploration. The understanding that despair and liberation are two sides of the same coin, the recognition of our shared humanity, and the acknowledgement of our creative potential to shape our lives and the world around us. With these insights, the journey through existential nihilism becomes not a path to nihilistic despair, but a voyage towards a deeper, more authentic engagement with life, marked by a relentless pursuit of meaning a commitment to authenticity, and an unwavering embrace of the beauty and tragedy of human existence. In this journey, we discover that the void, rather than being a void of despair, is a space of infinite possibility, where the dance of life continues, ever vibrant, ever meaningful, ever ours to define.